Okay, everybody, secret junkyard time. Doesn't look like there's a reason for a secret junkyard yet, apart from that's a 390 car, isn't it? A 390. Yeah, Jesus, 390 Fairlane, two door sport coupe, or are they just coupes at this point in time? Hard tops? Uh, they call them hard tops in America. Yeah, yeah. nice car. Manual? Uh, C6 automatic. Still cool. Short bed Dodge D100? Yes. 52? Refrigerator style door handles could be uh, 50, I think. That is phenomenal. What are you going to do with that? Uh, parade vehicle for the Shriners. Oh, really? Yeah. Needs a top while the back we're, of that. Now like we're going to finish cutting the top off of it, make it a safari wagon type deal. Oh, that's really cool. Yeah. So, yeah, this is like this junk just gets better and better as we as we wander through it. Yeah. Porsche. Yeah. For you guys that love 924s, they're uh, a thing. Nash Metropolitans. The car for America. Give it a big block, they said. 1500cc of nothing power. And they didn't really sell that well. And they're all kind of... It's an usual car. Either you like it or you hate it. And this is actually going to be somebody's daughter's car. So they're going to be rebuilding it. The Duster. The Disco Duster. Disco Duster. What a cool looking car this is. Custard. Pretty much like mine. The General Custard. Um, really nice car this, actually. Very little rust on it. Slant six, I guess. Uh, slant six, automatic car, yes. Yeah, pretty cool. Seven and a quarter. Another D100. You collected these things? Yeah. This is this. Oh, look that. at the roof! Yeah. Holy sugar! It was a vinyl top one. Yeah. SE. They they were less than. Uh, Wait dozen. a minute. There were less than a dozen of these vinyl vinyl top trucks made. It's an SE. It's an SE. And it had a had a vinyl top on it. Sorry, I got all excited about that. Then nah, it does need a little bit, but yeah, jeez, man. But they give you, you know, full gauge pack. The, yeah, it had the tack in it. Oh, it's got a sports steering wheel on it as well. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Man, chap wheels. Really? That's pretty, that's actually very cool. It's an adventure SE, man. Yeah. Is what's left of uh, Chevy truck? Is it? Yeah, C20, I think. Man. Uh, I'm already in love with this. I might have to drag this up there at some point in time. You know how I feel about LTDs. This is there's a great part about this, right, isn't it? There's a fantastic story about this. So, you know, 80s American cars get a bad rap because of their quality control, like 70s British cars. So, here we go. It's an LTD Crown Victoria. This is factory. We promise we haven't changed it. This is how it goes. Now, when we pin our way through the bushes here, we look on the other side. It's a grand marquee. They couldn't even be bothered to check the badges. They just went, yep, yeah, fine, that'll do. Just stuck it on. So it's an LTD grand marquee. Perfect. What's your favorite car, Nate? Out here? Oh, man, I like them all. I like the early Barracudas, the early 60s, 62 to 65. Yeah, this stuff is, is kind of my cup of tea. They're really sort of coming into their own, aren't they? Yep. You either like them or you hate them. Yeah. There's, there's no super big following. It's just people like them or they, people don't like them. Demon. Rare. Super rare. Rare as you can imagine. So you come on. Yeah. What was that? Big uh, close the wagon? 1966 Belvedere wagon. Nine wow. passenger. Has the rear seat in it. What? Whoa. Really? Yeah. Dodge Maxi van. Everybody loves those. Who loves Volvos? You love Volvos. I love Volvos. It's your Volvo. That's lovely as well. Was that a tow truck or what? What's with the? Uh, was it just a tipper? Yeah, it's a dump truck originally. Or and it's last one. Cordobas. Unfortunately, these used to be parts cars for everybody's parts cars, right? Yeah, yeah that's what that was. Four hundred. Three sixty. That one. Yeah, you get all the lame ones. <laughs> Mustang two. For people that like Mustang two, super solid parts car. That's cool. The Maxi Wedge spoiled, uh, Maxi Wedge front scooped. Early Barracuda? Yeah, 65. It's got the 68 super stock head on it. Yeah, it's pretty cool, man. Yeah. Looks really nice with a Hemi in the glass. That one went through the drop of tornado. Oh, so did it really? Yeah. Survived? Yeah, it's, it's a little messed up, but yeah. It's still here. Diplomat? No. Fifth Avenue. Fifth Avenue. Ugh. Do you know what? People like these. My friend loves these. I despise these. And the only reason I despise these and I can never get over it and I don't know how anybody can like them is why did they put the indicators above the headlights? 
It just looks like the car's upside down. It's like it's off to Wally World. It's the you National know, Lampoon's exactly Wagon. It. It's the, What's it's going the, on? It's the Family Queen Truckster, yes. I hate these. I hate them. I just can't get over the front. Like, look look at the, where the chrome is on the front of the bonnet. Just perfectly blind you in sunlight. Just yeah. terrible things. Uh, front wheel drive Cadillac Eldorado mm. skid car. Good to, too good to scrap out. Too good to scrap out, so they kept half of it. Yeah. It's like that really good sort of pig with the wooden leg. Uh, the rest of it was already set. So. At 500 cubic inch, man. These aren't getting like anywhere, they aren't making any more of them. No. Charger, SE? Yep. Whoa. 70? Nice. I can have it to, I always get these wrong because of the windows in them. Uh, Charlie's truck, she'll tell you more about that at some point in time. Yeah. Like a really solid F100 that's just sitting here. Not even resting, that, really. That was a one too many barley pumps one night. <laughs> Slight accident damage. Uh, yeah, get another GMC yeah, Suburban. That's a, that's a Suburban. Jeez, like that's pretty rare, man. So like I said, this is why the junkyard's kind of secret in here. I'm walking through the trees now. Somebody's got to love a Dodge Vans that doesn't die. Yes. Valiant. Uh, dart. Oh. Four door sedan. Close. Close. One day we're all going to be saying how good these Camaros are. That day isn't today. Is that a 78 Dodge? It is a 78 Dodge motorhome. Yeah, really rare those grills. One yeah. year only. Yeah. 78. Yeah. That's Cannonball Van, right? Yeah. 440? 440. 440. 440. 440. A100? A100. Everybody loves A100s. I love A100s. Does everyone like 50 Plymouth coupes? Sedans? Are they sedans? Because it's a two door, but it's got a really crap roof line. I think they just call that a two door coupe. Yeah. Randy, what do they call that? Club coupe. Club coupe. Why are they called club coupes? Because it had a larger back uh, seat in it than a standard coupe did. And the business coupes would obviously have a more boot, right? Yeah. And do you know the reason why all these have terrible roof lines? This is the rumour anyway. Please tell us. Plymouth said everybody should be able to wear a hat in their car. Uh, uh, okay. Dodge didn't. So Dodge had a nice roof line. Plymouth has the really stodgy roof line. Mm. Oh, is that a chopped up B-body? That's a chopped up B-body. It was mint too, honestly. <laughs> yeah. So it was, yeah. it's it's rusty. She's bad. It's, it's, as, it's as mint as the chewing gum on the bottom side of the yeah. It's, she's seat. seen a, she's seen a few rounds. What can we say? You know, right? Coronet, nineteen sixty-seven. Six. Sugar. Cool. Okay. Very cool. Really cool car. Love these. Love the roof line. Love everything about them. They and were, yeah, yeah, they were the lightest and tightest speed bodies ever produced. They get a bum rap because they're bricks, but they were really the best car. It's a nice brick. It is. I like it's, them. It's a lovely brick. Yeah, they get better as with age, like us. A real good one there. You can see the weeds grow through the cycle. It's not weeds, man. That is a tree growing in the middle of that car at this point in time. We'll get. We'll. Well, they will take you back to the really good stuff in a second, but we'll finish, We'll kick off with a bit of this. Sixty-seven. Sixty-six. Damn it. Drag car. I think this looks fabulous, man. This is like rock solid too. It's a really good car. It's a really good car. Gigantic set lights. I'm not sure you should build this as a drag car or you put it back to normal. I like it both ways. It looks cool. Oh, oh is, is that General Lee? It, it I see is. hidden away. We that should probably. That is the local General Lee of our area. We should just talk about the Barracuda, right? I mean, nobody likes Chargers anyway. Like those 66 Barracuda things, yeah. I mean, way better. So, this is a General Lee. The funny story about this car, the uh, janitors, the janitors of the local school system had all the TV cars as a kid growing up. One of them had the General Lee, the other one had the Starsky and Hutch car. And as story goes, they got a little bit uh, a liquid courage in them one night and they were gonna jump this car across the creek by their house. And um, they wrecked the car before they, before, they got before, the before they got to the creek. Man, I would love to see and, that. And then I bought it as a parts car after so, they wrecked it. So this is a wrecked car and a parts car, Yeah. but it probably isn't anymore, is it? No, no, we're building, it's so good now, we're building it. Yeah, so it's been a long time here. Yeah. It's waited a lot of 
tunes to come through, but it's now it's we've got all the yeah. all the metal we can buy and build it. So this is actually probably about to come back, and it's a famous local car, right? Yeah, it's a it's a it's a good viable car. It's got paper and it's uh, people build worse. People that like yeah, the, yeah, this used to be junk ten years yeah. ago. You wouldn't you ten years ago you wouldn't couldn't consider doing this. This would be like yard art, but now. It's gonna get done, just like all the other charges, which I, it, which you hate. I actually. think it should go back to be a general lee too. Oh yeah, there's no question about that. It should, it's it's like a famous as a general lee. It should be a general lee. The D100, which is probably gonna supply its 440 for the general lee. Somebody is obsessed by barracudas. We're not gonna say who Max. Oh look, there's another charger. This one's this one's pre-tortured to death, back in the day, and that, that's all that's left of it. It's just a. That was actually an RTSE car. That's an RTSE. Ugh, cry everybody, but you know, can't save them all. And to be honest, what you've got to realize is, I know people are going to get onto this and they're going to be like, man, all these cars have been tortured to death in the middle of a junkyard. But you know what? If they weren't here, they'd be a toaster by now. Mm -hmm. They'd be a brave little toaster at best. Another, I'm going to say 66 this time, and you'll probably tell me it's a 67. All right. Hey, 66. No, it's a Damn it. <laughs> they both are. Look at that. I, these are, I, I find it hard to judge between these being 66 and 67s. 67 GTX is both of them. Oh my both god. Both of them factory 440 cars. Are they really? Yep. My god. F-150? Uh, not just any F-150. That is a Boyd Connington edition. Oh, F wow. F-150. What does he do to that? The wheels? Uh, the wheels, the lowering. There was a trim package in it. and I think the Keller keyed the front spoiler. The grill type stuff. But wow, yeah. I can't believe that that was like a considered like a custom version of a car. Yeah, that, that's yeah, crazy. The dealers, did they? Yeah. No. Does it make sense? You think that's a custom car? No. Oh, she ran away now, right? What's this? Uh, Big windowed, lovely 50, looking thing. Fifty D one hundred. Oh wow! Oh, step side. It's nice. Is there it's, a front it's, to this? It's really nice. This front looks, end's right over there. Oh, Look it is nice. Well, yeah, it's, it's nice. It's got floors and pans and yeah. everything. It's even got an inspection sticker that's probably a bit out of date, but yeah. yeah, this is nice. Yeah. Yeah, this needs building. It does. This needs building. Look. What's this? Is this junk? It's another charger. Oh, it's another charger. Look at that. It's a 383 two barrel SE car. It's really? Again? Yeah. But they, I thought like SEs are pretty rare because they were like the posh one, right? Yeah, they were the they were the posh one. Man, this is actually this is pretty solid. This is like more better than most of the junkers I've seen recently. It's got a trunk floor. Some trunk yeah. floor. Not all the trunk floor, but anybody that knows knows charges and hangs around normally finds out now that these are just terminal in here. They just terrible through the sail panels and in here and no floor pans in the front, and this actually isn't that bad. The inner structure's good. Yeah, which is the bonus part, right? Right. They, the AMD just started making that last year. So Man. Until then, you couldn't get it. You had to start with that. You should start selling patina back panels. Good grief. This is actually not bad. This one's actually pretty good. Mm -hmm. Duster. Yeah. Everyone loves dusters these days. Oh, look. There's another charger. The tree's not going up through it. It's just all It's just growing to the side of it. Yeah. They, I mean, it's, it's going to get done. It just hasn't been done yet. Right. But yet again, another really nice car. Right. Super cool. I thought I'd never seen one in dark green before, but apparently they're all green. Yeah. Allegedly. They're all green. This one's a light green originally, right? Yep. Oh, what is it? What was, what spec is it? Uh, base model. 383 car. Well, it's not really base. Base is like a 318 car, right? Five then the XP denomination then it's just a three a three eighty three car. Say small. Slightly holy. It needs front pans, but the back pans are solid. Yeah, it's very savable. Yeah, it's a good car. Yeah, it is a good car. And it's complete too. That's yeah, the it's nice about it. Nobody tried turn it apart yet. No. No, that day is coming. That day is coming. But this, I mean, actually these cars are really solid. Yeah, it's a good car. It is a good car. It's a really good car. You just smashed it in the front of a Dodge. Another Dodge. This one's definitely not getting saved. 
Wow, man. That is actually a really good car. That is like way better than 90% of the cars I see. Yeah, and it's parked so close to the truck because the grill on it's still good. Oh, yeah. So we just... didn't want anything to happen to the grill, so we just made it really hard for somebody to get up in there. <laughs> More D100s, another Volvo. What's the sedan delivery thing, didn't it? Uh, that's a 40 Ford panel. Wow, that's really cool. 40 Fords are really cool. We like them in New Zealand. Okay, ah, oh, what's that? Oh, 300 or something? Yes. That's cool, man. Another duster? Another duster. This like is a feather, feather duster. What's a feather duster? I've uh -huh. never even heard of a feather duster. Okay, feather dusters. Aluminum bumper brackets. Uh, this one doesn't have it because it's been wrecked, but they skin the hood in aluminum. There was lots of other aluminum panels that they used instead of steel. Wow. And they were all overdrive transmissions. Wow. So, it, and this being a stick shift, it's got the overdrive transmission. It's all complete as well. Yeah. That's got to be a I've never come yeah. across a feather duster before. This is like, this would be proper wreck. Right? Yeah. And it's just a standard slant six, I guess. Yeah, standard slant six. Four, uh, four speed transmission. Four speed. Three, they call it a three plus one. Oh, it's, it's not a bad car either. The, uh, the, the uh, meth heads robbed the radiator out of it, but yeah. It, of course. It, it, it drove back here. That's a cool car, man. I've never hit a feather duster before. Like it even says on the side. Yeah. So that means this is original paint. It is, other than the, the front clip has been replaced on the lots. You know, we never used to get excited about dusters and stuff like that. They were just 10 a penny, and now they're in Norway. They're just nowhere. There were so many of them around. What's that? Got the wider wheels on it too. And you can see the, you can see the, the different paint color from the original to the front end's been painted. Yeah. yeah. Not safe. Not safe. Not <laughs> safe. Yeah, not safe. Oh man, there's a lot of these around too. These all disappeared off the face of the earth. But that I mean, disc brakes and everything on the front of this one. No drums. Drums. Sixty-six, I think. Yeah, 66, single pot reservoir. Wow. Flat last year for the single pot reservoir. She's gone, this one's done. There we go. So, I hope you enjoyed the trip around the secret junkyard, but I'm sure you did, because there's lots of charges in here. We all love charges. Right, yep, take it easy, guys, and uh, like and subscribe. We'll see you again sometime.